Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today, in my attempt to post almost every day this month, I decided I would do a Q&A. So I asked you guys on the community section of my main channel to ask me some questions that were not animal related because I wanted to do a Q&A that was just about me. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to do just so you guys could learn a little bit more about me aside from the huge part of my life that is my animals. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit about me and I'm just gonna be answering some of those questions I got, then just stay right here and that's this video. So enjoy, I guess, I don't know. So <laughs> I just feel so out of my element like making videos that aren't just about animals. It's a concept, it's a brand new concept to me. The first question I'm gonna answer is from Zingiest, Z Zingiest Bug. And they asked, what do your friends and family think of you being a YouTuber instead of like going to college and getting a real job? So I feel like my friends and family all just think it's really cool that I can do YouTube as a job. But of course, before I was actually doing it as a job, before I really had my channel, I have kind of brought up like, wow, it would be cool to be a YouTuber. And of course, everyone's just like, haha, yeah, good luck with that one. But ever since I actually made it happen for myself, everyone's just very accepting of it and they're okay with it. I don't really get much shit from anyone for just doing YouTube because obviously I'm making a living off of it, at least for now. <laughs> So yeah, and that leads us to our next question actually, which is from Bethany Heckey who asked, if you were to go back to college, what would you go for? So for anyone who doesn't know this, I did go to college for three years and I originally went into college undecided with what I was gonna do. And then I decided to go into graphic design because I had some background with art because I did a lot of art classes in high school and I was really into like photography and drawing and all that good stuff. When I was in college trying to decide what to major in, you know, my college didn't have a lot of art majors that were very realistic. So I just decided to go with graphic design despite the fact that I don't really have much interest in digital art, or at least I didn't at the time, and I wasn't very good at it, but I decided to do graphic design because I thought it was the most practical art degree to get out of all the options I had at that school as far as what would be the easiest to find a job with. So I just chose graphic design, ended up not really liking it, partially because some of the teachers at my university were crap and they just made me not like it. They just made my life miserable. And then I decided last minute to switch my degree to writing and rhetoric in digital media. But it wasn't long after that that I kind of put college on hold because my YouTube stuff started to pick up. And I just decided that nothing I was studying in college was what I actually wanted to do. So I was like, why am I wasting my time and money doing this when I could be just pursuing things that actually make me happy? So... If I were to go back to college, that's something that I'm still in the process of thinking about because I think that in the future there is a chance I might want to go back to college and get a different degree, but I think I want to do something with animals that isn't veterinary, so I might want to go into like zoology or something like that. I might not even go back to college, I might just try to get a different job in like animal education or something. Again, it's not something I've decided on yet, but it is something I'm thinking about in the back of my mind. I definitely do want to start doing animal education stuff on the side, and that's something I'm still trying to figure out. But yeah, if I were to go back to college, I think I want to do something with animals. Uh, art and writing and rhetoric just weren't quite my cup of tea. And that actually leads to the next question which is from Emma DeJong, who asked, are you still doing some art-related things? So I feel like a lot of people who knew me back when I first started my channel were very aware of the fact that I was into a lot of very artsy things. I used to be really into photography. I used to love drawing portraits of people. And I also used to draw like anime and manga fan art a lot. That's like how I started getting into art was drawing like manga stuff. 
but I ended up evolving into doing like portraits and then I quit. But yeah, then I got into photography. As of right now, I haven't been doing much art stuff and it makes me upset because I feel like it's something I could still very easily enjoy doing. I just have a lot of trouble finding the time to do things for fun. Because I spend so much of my time obviously taking care of my animals and trying to keep up with my YouTube channel that I just feel like I don't make very much time for myself to do things that are fun to me. So I definitely want to get back into art. I also used to be really into special effects makeup, and that's another thing that I want to kind of try to get back into at some point. But yeah, I definitely would love to try to get back into drawing and like special effects makeup and all that fun stuff. But as of right now, I just haven't really been into it because I've been focusing on a ton of other things in my life. The next question is from Elizabeth McCutcheon. McCutcheon, I don't think I said your name right, so I'm sorry. But they asked me, if you could record a video with anyone on YouTube, who would it be and why? That's a really difficult question because there are a ton of people on YouTube that I kind of look up to, but I feel like if I could do a video with anyone on the platform, I would probably want to do a video with Shane Dawson just because he's been someone I've been watching since I was like 12 years old. And also, obviously, he's like such a huge icon on the platform right now and his content is so great. So even if I couldn't make a video with him, I would love to just meet him and like have a conversation with him. But yeah, definitely Shane Dawson would be like my go-to person I would love to collab with. Not that it's ever going to happen. Nobody wants to collaborate with me. So this question is animal related, but I kind of liked it because I never really got this question before. Jenna Smith asked, do you ever want to have farm animals or livestock? And the short answer to that is I would love to have farm animals. Like that would be so incredible. But whether or not I would actually want to go forth with doing so is another question. Obviously, if I had a ton of property, that would be such a cool thing to do is to have like cows, chickens, like goats, llamas, you know, just stuff like that. All those normal animals people have. But also at the same time, you know, it's probably a lot of work. I don't know how well I could keep up with a bunch of farm animals. So as much as I love farm animals, <laughs> I don't know if I would actually want to own them and have to take care of them myself, but I would love to have chickens at the very least. I love chickens. I don't know why. I want chickens or ducks. Chickens or ducks. I feel like I could I could have like one farm animal species, but not a lot of them. The last question from Don Ford is what is the scar on your forehead from? I have no idea if I've ever talked about this before and it's such a lame story. And I don't know how many of you guys have actually even noticed it because I feel like it's very faded at this point. But if you look between my eyes right here, you can kind of see a line right here, which is a scar that I got because this was literally from when I was a child. When I was a child, I used to hurt myself all the time. But this was like, I think the first major incident where I had to go to the emergency room. And it's such a lame story. But all that happened was I was sleeping in my bed. And I don't know why, I guess I'm, I was just a very aggressive sleeper as a child. Because when I was a little kid, I had to have like one of those bumper things on the side of my bed that kept you from rolling off. I had to have one of those up until I was like, I don't know, I feel like pretty old to have one of those. Like I might have been like six or seven before I could sleep without one of those. I don't even know. But I used to always fall off of my bed when I was sleeping. So I got the scar on my forehead because I fell off of my bed and I hit right here on the edge of my nightstand and it cut my, you know, head open right between my eyes. I'm so lucky that I didn't like bash my eye into the side of my nightstand. So anyways, I could have been blind. Wow, I'm so blessed. And yeah, so I cut my head open right here, had to go to the emergency room and they glued my head shut. And I, I'm pretty sure 
it was like a week later or something that I fell down the stairs and then I had to get stitches between my fingers. And then a little bit later on in my childhood, I banged my head really hard on a play set and had to get staples in my head. So that is why I decided that I should not go outside or do anything except to lock myself in a room full of animals and have that be my career. Otherwise, my life would be in danger because I'm an idiot. Anyways, all right guys, so yeah, that is it for today's q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. This is my vlog channel, so I'm just gonna be posting random videos throughout this month. I'm gonna try to post every day. Probably gonna fail, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Also have a main channel about animals. That's linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.